Hello, I'm Pablo Montes and I'm here today to talk about the schedulers. After the last uh, video regarding what TPA is, there has been certain comments and questions about why schedulers work in that way, why they move around the workloads, causing them not to have maximum performance. So I'm going to go back to the same example, the repair shop, and uh, we're going to simplify it. We're going to have only uh, one workstation. We're going to have uh, our application and we are going to have uh, this uh, little storage, okay? So let's uh, name this and uh, the worker will be the application, the workstation will be the CPU and all the tools that we have in the, in the, in the workstation, the ones that we are using at that moment will be the content of the cache and uh, this uh, storage will be the memory, okay? And anytime that we need anything that uh, we have to work with, we will have it in the cache. So if it's not in the cache, we bring it from the memory. And if it's not in the memory, we bring it from the hard disk, okay? So our application will be, if we have only one application, one process, it will be the whole time using the CPU running the task that they have to run. Okay. The thing is that we are not gonna have only one application. We're gonna have a lot of them. Only the operating system has a lot of processes. In addition to that, we may be reading the email or opening a document or doing whatever. So we're gonna have a lot of processes and we only have uh, one uh, CPU. Uh, if only one process is using the CPU, it will look like the whole system is frozen. Nothing is progressing. So that's what the scheduler does. The scheduler is moving around the workloads constantly. Uh, causing that each one of them, uh, each one of the processes has some smallest lot of time of, uh, of progressing. So we as humans have the feeling that all of them are running in parallel because it happens very, very quickly. It's inefficient, yes, because anytime that a new process coming here, a, a process come back to the, to the CPU, they have to clear the cache because all these tools are the ones that the previous process was, were using, but the new process is gonna need different tools. So this is cleaning the cache constantly. Anytime a new process coming here, you will have to clean the cache and the new process is gonna probably change part of the content of the memory and it could be a big percentage of it in, if the memory is small. So it's inefficient, but it's the only way that we have to make the fiction of all the processes running in parallel. And this is exactly the same if we have more CPUs because we are going to have always more processes than CPUs. So it's required that the, that the scheduler is taking care of assigning them to the appropriate uh, uh, CPU, okay? So for example, if we take this process the scheduler is going to assign her to maybe here and then out and then to here and then to here. Why? because uh, there is uh, no reason for the scheduler to send back the same worker to the same workstation because the cache has been clear once there is another process that has gone to there. So the scheduler simply looks for where it can assign a process to do it. If uh, we go to virtual machines and containers, <clears throat> we have exactly the same situation because a virtual machine or a container is just a bunch of processes. The container may have one or more than one process and the virtual machine is going to have multiple processes for sure because it has the, its own operating system, okay? So <clears throat> let's uh, imagine that uh, we want this uh, virtual machine to have EPA because it's a very important one. We have to assure performance, okay? So uh, what we do is to assign these three processes to these three CPUs and the uh, scheduler will know that and we only use these other three CPUs for the rest of processes, okay? So uh, these three ones will be fixed in here, getting maximum performance, and the rest of them will go to these three workstations. And they just keep changing constantly as we saw it before. I hope it's uh, more clear now. Uh, please contact me, let me comment if you want any additional explanation regarding anything of this. Thank you very much.